Today I'm going to be installing WeatherTech's all-weather front and rear rubber floor mats on our 2015 F-150. WeatherTech's rubber floor mats are a great option if you're looking for front and rear floor protection. These are going to contour to your truck's carpet area to give you total protection. The mats are designed to trap all liquids, any snow, mud, or anything else your shoes might carry into your truck. And because they're measured specifically for your model year, they're going to get an easy one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter and expect it to take about 15 minutes to put in. WeatherTech goes with their own patented rubber material, which is going to be able to take abuse daily. The top layer has an anti-skid surface to give you confidence when stepping in or out of your truck. The underside utilizes anti-skid nibs, which is going to dig into your carpet to prevent shifting. Just above $120 for a full floor mat kit is a good price for full carpet protection. If you wanted side protection, you could spend a bit more for WeatherTech's floor liners. Now that we've gone over the mats themselves and the price, let's get these in the truck. Before you put your floor mats in the truck, you want to cut off the two excess rubber pieces on our two front floor mats. Take your X-Acto knife or scissors and just cut along the perforated line. Now that we have our WeatherTech mats trimmed, you're going to take out your factory floor mats. We're going to lift up on the rear seats and then take out the mats. You're going to lift up into place, lift up on the second seat. And remove your stock mats. With our rear carpet area clear, we're going to place in our WeatherTech floor mat. You're going to start with the passenger side. Place it in, up, and match it in. With the passenger side in, we're going to complete the same steps for the driver's side. The center section between the two rear mats lock together, so you're going to place the passenger side in first, place the driver's side right on top, and push together. With both of the rear mats in, we can now unlatch our seats, place our rear seats back down, and then we can move on to the front mats. For the front mats, you're going to pull them out of the way and remove. With the stock floor mat out of the way, place in the WeatherTech mat. It's measured to fit, so just line it up with the curves in your truck, and it's in. The driver's side is latched in, so we just have to pop these latches off. One and two. Now you can just remove from your truck. WeatherTech's driver's side also incorporates these latches, so you're just going to line them up and press down. Place the mat in. Line up your tabs, push down till they snap, and your mat is secured. With our driver's side mat in, that's going to wrap up my review and install of WeatherTech's all-weather front and rear floor mats. You can check these out and more at americantrucks.com.